Hey there, it's Mark, and welcome to Trucking Tuesday. This past weekend, I shared some pictures of some Easter cars for Easter Sunday, and I thought, why don't I go ahead and show some Easter trucks, even though it's past. We can take a look at them, right? You know, Hot Wheels doesn't call them Easter cars. They call them spring cars. Here's the set of five. You can take a look at the names of the cars, and you know what? No trucks. No trucks this year. The cars are colorful, just like Easter eggs. I have not picked any up. But I'm sure I will acquire some of them soon. As you can tell by the artwork, it doesn't even reference Easter at all. It's spring and it shows flowers and colorful. It's okay because basically now the cars don't expire. It's not like Easter Sunday and now they have to clearance the cars. No, they're for the spring season. I will show the trucks in just a moment. But if you wanted to see different angles of the holiday cars that I posted this weekend. You see there's two different colors. Same with the 97 Corvette. This model here is actually the Volkswagen Beetle convertible in two different colors. That's because back in those days, oh yeah, by the way, this is when it used to have a metal base still. Metal body, metal base. They all have plastic tires. They would have a five pack, like Target would get an Easter five pack. Oh, Easter Speedster is actually back then they were called Easter Speedsters. And if you look in the graphics right there, there's your rabbit. So that's the Easter Speedster. Now, the, the this one obviously had Easter eggs on it. Mm, I, I don't know if it had Easter Speedster theme at this time. Uh, this video is not going to be horribly detailed. We're just going to look at some cars. And there's the Easter Speedster right there. Let's see. Any more cars? Oh, yeah. One more. Oh, so anyways, Target would get a five-pack of Easter Speedsters. And Walmart would get singles. That's why in the back you can see two different colors of that model. And then two different colors of the ice cream truck. But only one color of this red model. Hey, what is that? That's an Enzo Ferrari. I think it was tuned. A tuned Enzo Ferrari. You know how Hot Wheels will have series and they distort the proportions. So I think this was a tuned Enzo Ferrari. On top, you can see the Ferrari colors, or Italian colors, red, white, and green, and the, F the Ferrari logo way at the tip over there. If you notice, no Easter Speedster logo, no Easter, nothing. I think it came out of one of the Target five packs. There's the base, Enzo Ferrari. I wasn't kidding. Now for this Hummer model, and behind it, that's a Hot Wheels Trail Blazer. Is it Trail Blazer? Yeah, I think it's Trail, Tra Trail Buster. It's kind of like a Jeep a CJ7. Well, I'll show them here. I'm not going to get into the argument whether they're trucks or not. It's tiny, but right there is your Easter Speedster logo. I don't recall if this one had two colors, and I did not look it up. I have several, <laughs> a lot of models here, and I didn't want to bog it down too much. By the way, the base, the base says Hummer, made in Thailand. You going to focus? Made in Thailand. There's your Hot Wheels Flame logo. At that time, it's different, see? And on the bottom, it says Hummer. But I think this model is actually the Hummer H2. There's your production code C48. So this was about 2011 for the release. It's kind of neat because it has a black base, but then the interior is gold. So you get these, you get these accents right here for the running board. Interior is gold. Maybe you don't care for that. But it, it makes for these nice other gold accents. Two colors for Trail Buster and the Easter Speedster logo. Very obvious. Can't miss it this time. Fun model. Uh, I don't know if they do this anymore, to be honest with you. Haven't seen it in a while. Uh, nice. The, this metal is pretty heavy, actually. Um, you know what? At this time, it had a metal base. Pretty, pretty cool wheels. Appropriate, right? Appropriate wheels for this type of model. Spare tire in the back. And there's a look at the, well, it's kind of hard to see the grill because of the lighting. No added paint details for the headlights or grill. Looking at the interior, you can see the steering wheel. See, steering wheels were really nice in those days. See how the steering wheel actually looks like a, a steering wheel. It's not like a uh, cement block in front of the store. You know, one of those, so people don't crash into the store. But this, this one's pretty cool. This is a Dodge Sidewinder. The steering wheel is not as detailed, but at least it's not a just a round stump on there. But check out the interior. Look at this piece right here. 
We'll, we'll look at the car closer in a second. It has, see that silver piece right there? That's the gear shift. This is, this is chrome. I wonder if that's part of the uh, plastic base. It's a chrome base. And I wonder if that's the molded to the interior. I don't think that's an extra part. It's probably part of this sticking up through the bottom. And there you see the Dodge Sidewinder name. Easter Speedster logo on the tonneau cover of the bed. And actually in the whole side of the graphics on the car. Can't miss that. Nice flames. Let's check out the grill. Open grill. Chrome interior. Oh, that's part, maybe that's part of the chrome base. See, yeah, maybe that's the chrome base. And nowadays, a lot of this part is going to be plastic on modern cars. So you had more metal for the grills at the time. This one is not a bad a downhill racer, to be honest with you. I do not. People are going to probably want to know, and I better check. I don't know if this pops open or not. Well, you can you can get it to pop open, but uh, it's not supposed to be open. You see how it has that clasp? It's supposed to snap closed. I didn't look it up. I think this would be considered a truck. Right, you have a bed in the back. Uh, it's kind of like a pickup truck without the cab. I'm not sure. This one, this one right here, this one is definitely a truck. This is the customized C3500. You can see the egg on the fender. So here you have your little uh, your little birdie hatching out of the egg. Pretty cool. And a very unique design, right? Hard back. And it looks like uh, both sides are the same. Have a look at the base. We'll put the name plastic base. And there you have the customized C3500. If I'm not mistaken, it's a uh, Chevy. One thing about this truck, it has flared fenders in the back. I don't know if that's to give it the illusion like it has dualies, but it does not have dualies. It just has, uh, just has flared fenders. Last but not least, ice cream truck. And it has Peter Cottendale. Cottontail chocolate decorations on the side. This is one to where one color was Walmart, one color was Target in a five pack, and Walmarts were singles. This one has a gold grill, gold grill, gold base. There you go. So you know that's all one part right there. Pretty fun graphics. And there's your ice cream vendor inside. Cottontail chocolates, Hot Wheels, with that old Hot Wheels flame logo. Or I shouldn't say old, from that era, right? It's fun stuff. It's fun to collect. Graphics on the sides and in the rear. I hope you had a good time with your family this past weekend. I did a small gathering. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.